Hello and welcome to this activity. Today, you're going to be learning how to use the drawing tools in Adobe Express to create your own festive wreath. Open up Adobe Express and in the Create menu, scroll down until you see the option Create a Drawing. Tap on the icon to open a new project. We're going to be using a number of different brushes to create our drawing today. So start by clicking the brush icon in the menu on the left hand side. You can scroll through all the different brush options or use the menu tabs to find brushes quickly. The brush we're looking for is called French Impressionist and it's found in the Art Supplies brushes. We're going to use this brush to create the base of our wreath. So I need to select a dark green colour. There isn't a colour swatch that's dark enough, so I'm going to click the swatch that has the tools icon and then select custom and choose a dark green. I also need to increase the thickness of the brush, so I'm going to change the size. You could use the slider or you can type in the box. I'm going to set the brush to 500. On your canvas, Draw a large circle, leaving a little bit of space at the top. Don't worry if your circle doesn't look perfect, because if you hold it for a moment, Adobe Express will snap it into a perfect shape. I'm going to use the snapping tool again, but this time to add a hanger to the top of the wreath. I need to change my brush first. In the decorative brushes, I'm going to choose the braided option, and I'm going to change the colour to red, by clicking on the red swatch. I'm going to draw a curve at the top of my wreath and hold it for a second until the shape snaps into place and it looks like I have a braided hanger for my wreath. We're going to stay in the decorative brushes and scroll down until we get to the ones that look like different plants. I'm going to choose the one that says Distressed Vine and I'm going to change the colour to a dark green. I'm going to use the snapping tool again to draw two circles using my distressed vine brush. One on the inside of my wreath and one on the outside of my wreath. You could keep the same brush or explore and try something different. I'm going to change to the elegant vine and I'm going to make the shade a slightly lighter green. I'm going to draw another circle in between my other two vines. Then I'm going to change it to a different shade of green and using the same brush, draw another circle over the top. Layering leaves in different shades of green makes it look like the wreath is thick and more 3D. Now we have our wreath, we're ready to decorate it. I want to add some shiny red berries. The easiest way to do this is to use the hard round brush, change the colour to the shade of red you want, and then tap on the wreath where you want the berries to appear. To make the berries look round and shiny, we're going to add some shading by selecting the soft round brush. And then to make sure we don't go out the lines, we're going to use the menu at the top and turn on coloring mode. Put two fingers on the screen and pinch your fingers apart to zoom in to one of the berries. We're going to add some shading using the soft round brush by adding some red that's slightly darker than the red we currently have for our berries. We're also going to use the opacity tool at the bottom and make it slightly more transparent so that it doesn't give us such a harsh line. Starting inside the circle, add some shadow to the bottom of your berry. The colouring mode will stop the colour from running into the rest of your design. Change the colour, but this time to a lighter shade of red, and you'll be able to add some highlights to the top of your berry. Finally, change the colour to white and add a little highlight onto your berry to make it look shiny and 3D. If you put two fingers on the screen and pinch inwards, you'll zoom back out so you can see your whole picture. 
You can then repeat this process for each of the different berries on your wreath until they all look round and shiny. I want to add a bow to the top of my wreath. To do this, I'm going to select the hard round brush and then I'm going to change my colour to the same bright red that I used for my berries. I need to reduce the size of the brush so that it's smaller so I can draw an outline and I'm going to use two fingers on the screen and pinch outwards so I can zoom in and see the area I want to work on better. I'm going to start my bow by drawing a rectangle with slightly curved corners in the top centre of my wreath. I'm going to colour it in using the brush tool in the same colour red. At the top of this rectangle, on either side, I'm going to draw two large loops and coming down from each edge, I'm going to draw a wiggly line. I can connect these wiggly lines to the centre of the bow using two curved lines and then I'm going to use the brush tool to completely fill each side using the same bright red that I used for the centre. Next, we need to draw in our ribbon tails. So draw in two curved lines, two curved lines in between them and join them at the base. You're going to use the brush tool to fill in each side using the same bright red that we used for the top of the bow. We're going to switch to a darker shade of red and add in some shadows. Start by filling in the gap in the top loops of the bow using this dark red. Then we're going to change the brush to the soft round brush and turn on colouring mode so we don't go outside the lines. Starting inside the bow, add shadows along the side and bottom edges of the ribbon. You can add some detail around the centre of the bow and add in some lines to make it look like the fabric is crinkled. You might also want to add in some shading around the edge of each of the ribbon tails. You can change the colour of the brush to an even darker shade of red to add in some deeper shadows inside the bow and along the bottom edges of each of the ribbons. Finally, you can change the colour of your brush to a much lighter shade of red and use it to pick out some highlights on the ribbon. Add highlights on the top edges of the bow, the tops of the creases and in the centre to make the fabric look shiny and 3D. When you're finished with your project, you can rename it by clicking in the box in the top left corner of the screen. I'm going to call this one Winter Wreath. Your image will be saved in Adobe Express but if you want to download it onto your iPad, click the download button in the top right corner of the screen, choose the file format that you want and press download to save to your camera roll. We hope you enjoyed trying this activity and learning how to draw your own festive wreath. Why not explore some of the drawing tools in Adobe Express to add some different types of decoration to create your own unique Christmas